I just developed this really terrible headache. It was the worst I've ever felt. One, I think the worst pain I've ever felt. And it started in one small spot and it just grew and grew. My head was just everywhere. It felt like I was, I don't know, like hallucinating or something. It was really scary. I started having like seizures and shaking and that's when my dad knew like, this is bad. Like this is definitely something wrong. So yeah, that's all I remember though. So I actually had field hockey practice that day. It was a captain's practice and I wanted to drive because I have my permit now, but I had to go pick up two of my friends before we went to the practice. And one of my friends lives just five minutes away from my house. And on the way to her house, I just developed this really terrible headache. So I picked her up. We drove a little more to go try and pick up my other friend. But at one point I was like, I can't, it hurts so bad, but luckily my dad was in the car, so he took over the driving. And she was grabbing her, her head really in one spot and says, this is worse, this is, and I've never seen it like that. It was violent headache. I didn't like all those symptoms together and not responding even, and then I said, you know what, call 911 and I got a phone call from uh, my husband. He tried to remain calm and try to say it as if, you know, I knew he was on a way to practice with her, so I thought maybe she'd, you know, just felt sick while she was on her way, something that they needed to check on. When I got about two minutes, I was just a couple minutes up the road from the hospital, um, he called again and said, are you close? And I could hear it in his voice that time that things were more serious than I was hoping to hear, you know, that he's like, just get here as soon as you can. And I just, <laughs> it felt like forever, just getting those last couple minutes to the hospital. So time was of the essence. Um, I was able to quickly just pick up the phone and make a, a phone call and get her transferred over by air ambulance, by life flight uh, to the university hospital where she could get her definitive care from neurosurgery. It was dark at that point and we got out to the car to drive as we watched the helicopter leaving. And we just prayed the whole way, you know, just Mari, make it, make it, make it. Time is of the essence in calls like that. That's why the helicopter was requested was to take her. Um, she was on, she was intubated, she was sedated and paralyzed by the hospital. They did a great job taking care of her. And we gave her a couple of other medicines while we we're at the scene and then we quickly flew her to UMass. She was unconscious. Um, she was moving all of her extremities. Uh, we look at the pupils, uh, which is the center black hole in your eye. And you know, when they are unequal, that means there's a lot of pressure in the brain. And it's kind of the last thing before someone just crumbs and dies when you have a lot of pressure in the brain. And she was in that situation. She had an arterial venous malformation, an AVM that ruptured because of this inappropriate connection between arteries and veins in her brain. And at that point, they took us up to the waiting area. Um, and uh, we spent the entire night just hoping, you know, no, no idea what would be the outcome. And uh, I, I think it was at around 5, 5.30 in the morning that um, they came out, that Dr. Natarajan came out and just saw those doors open and watched him approach. And that also felt like such a long time to just have him reach us. And, and I remember the first thing he said to us is, I think she's going to be okay. It's not genetic, no one in my family has ever had it. I just so happened to have it. It just unfortunately hit me, but I'm glad I came out of it the way I did. And it, it just came, keep going and, and Mariela's been recovering like 
amazing. It's just amazing. It's definitely brought us closer. Um, I feel like it's brought me closer to my daughter. It's given me a lot of time. Um, you know, just make me appreciate who she is and, and to just see her back to that sparkly, humorous, you know, full of life self is, is just wonderful.